Given the lack of any other video output options for the iPhone 5, Apple TV has become a must-must-have accessory. Some may resent being forced into using Apple TV, but you won't once you try it. It's a breeze to set up. Here we have our setup for the iPhone 5. An Apple TV, which is connected via wired Ethernet to our 802.11n router, although you can also connect via Wi-Fi. 1080p monitor connected by an HDMI cable to the Apple TV. Of course, the iPhone 5, which is uh, currently doing live video mirroring over the Apple TV via AirPlay. And a Bluetooth keyboard, which is paired with the iPhone 5. Together, they make a very capable small computer. Using AirPlay on iPhone 5 is just a matter of going to the multitasking shelf and swiping to the right until you see the AirPlay icon. Then select Apple TV and video mirroring. Be forewarned that streaming 1080p HD movies or games video can strain the bandwidth capability of your home Wi-Fi system. You need to have either an 802.11a or an 802.11n system, and the router needs to be located close to the iPhone, since data throughput varies with signal strength. We have observed significant video frame dropouts just by locating the router in an adjacent room. And that can make watching movies much less enjoyable and games almost impossible to play. The latest 802.11n systems, such as the Airport Extreme, have dual radio band capability at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and these will provide the best results. Now the Wi-Fi antenna appears to be located behind the glass inlay, and you can see it right here on the, on the back of the phone. I, I believe the Wi-Fi antenna is directly behind that. Now the glass serves as a radio frequency transparent window for Wi-Fi, and we notice that covering the glass with your hand or fingers can significantly reduce signal strength, as indicated by the signal strength meter. So if you're putting your hand or your fingers over that window, you'll see the you'll see the signal drop. Now our Wi-Fi system is an 802.11n system operating at 2.4 gigahertz only and the body unfortunately is a good absorber of radio waves at that frequency. This effect is very easy to reproduce. So here I am in AirPlay video mirroring mode and of course it's updating live. So now I'll put my fingers in front of the antenna, and you saw the signal drop. Remove my hand, signal comes back. Put my hand in front of the antenna again, signal goes down. Unfortunately, when playing a game over AirPlay, using the iPhone as a controller, you naturally want to grip the phone at the ends, covering the glass inlays with your fingers. We found this had a dramatic effect on the playability of games such as Sky Gamblers. Here I am attempting to land and I crash due to the fact that the screen locks up on me. Now I hope that these findings aren't blown up into another antenna gate. Uh, it just isn't worth it. Uh, there turns out to be a fairly simple solution to these problems, but it may require upgrading your home Wi-Fi system. We tried out the iPhone 5 using an 802.11a wireless router that operates at 5 GHz. The problem of frame dropouts during Sky Gamblers went away completely, and, and I was even able to land the jet successfully.
The very latest 802.11n routers use both 2.4 and 5 GHz radios, so one of these, such as the Airport Extreme, will give excellent results. The 5 is the first iPhone to be able to use either radio frequency for Wi-Fi. If you observe these precautions, all your games and movies will look great streamed from the 5 via AirPlay. There is no discernible difference in video rendering quality between the new iPad and the iPhone 5. Impressive. Who taught you the Aegis forms, warrior? I have come for my prize. I wish a question answered. Something so... pedestrian. You could be my new champion, and find glory in battle. Riches, women, and power would be yours for the taking. A question. Very well. What great mystery does your small mind ponder? Where can I find the Worker of Secrets? Who, whose child are you? Which immortal's blood do you have in your veins? Answer my question. The Vault of Tears. The place once known as Seranthia. Due west, past the sea in the mountains to the north. You could find him there, but you won't. <laughs> Using our AirPlay setup, you can actually get a reasonable amount of work done, although iOS doesn't make that quite as convenient as it could be. For instance, there's no support for landscape mode on the home screen, which is reasonable considering that they haven't changed the width of the screen. But let's go ahead and go into iWork, start pages, create a new document. Now last year when I reviewed the iPhone 4S, I demonstrated using iWork apps on the phone. The apps worked, but pages and numbers only displayed in portrait orientation, as you see here. And that doesn't make very effective use of the monitor real estate. With the recent updates of iOS and iWork apps, this has been mostly fixed. Uh, pages is now usable in landscape mode. And the text is much more readable and the full width of the page can be displayed. Combined with a Bluetooth keyboard, Pages makes a reasonably convenient word processor. Now let's look at numbers in iWork. And for some reason that I cannot fathom, Apple decided to leave numbers as a portrait-only app. There is no support for landscape orientation. Of course, this makes the use of the monitor real estate very inefficient. but it does provide a reasonable sized keypad on the native display of the phone, so that at least is usable. But I think it's almost useless in our uh, AirPlay setup. I think it would be very unattractive to use on a long-term basis, maybe for emergencies only.
And finally, let's look at Keynote. And, key, and Keynote, of course, only supports landscape mode. <laughs> so so let's, let's look at a presentation I already put together. And as you can see, I can, I can interact and drag things around. Uh, but this points out one of the slight disadvantages of this whole setup. I, I really have to be looking at the iPhone screen in order to make these kinds of changes. And if you're watching the large screen monitor, it can be a little difficult to correlate movement. That is a, that is a slight disadvantage with this approach. 